Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about the transport services to the application. Before going to the actual topic, we will discuss about or we will recall the socket. So socket is interface between the application process and the transport layer protocol. So as we seen earlier videos, the socket is a door and process is home. So when from the application layer the message is passed through the socket to the destination means transport layer protocol it received at socket of transport layer protocol so for the development of any application we need to choose available transport layer protocol few are available transport layer protocol among of them which one is best suitable for our dev application so we need to choose the available transport layer protocol so for the development of application we need to choose particular protocol which provide the services and this services is best suitable for the our application so for that we need a choose as best match services Let's take an example. Choose either train or aeroplane transport for traveling between two cities. I am at Rajkot and I want to travel Bombay. I have two option, either by train or by plane. But difference is only if I am going in train, it take a longer time period. But if I am going by airplane it take a shorter time period this is only the difference so we need to classify these services of particular protocol of transport layer having four parameters the first parameter is reliable data transfer second throughput third timing and fourth one is security let's understand in detail let us see first parameter reliable data transfer to understand this parameter we need to take an example some of the application like email file transfer financial application we can say banking transaction it required 100% reliable data transfer how Suppose if I am using mail services Yahoo Mail or Outlook.com or Gmail, in that we have received a mail or complete or correct mail. The data will not lose in this mail application. So we can say it is hundred percent data transfer to the our end. Second example is internet banking. In that example, the data is transfer hundred percent. So, if transaction or I am sending money from one account to the another account, at that time I need to care about the data transaction reliability. We need guaranteed data transfer. So, in transaction of bank facility or financial application we required guaranteed that data which is sent by the one end of the application and deliver it is correctly and completely to the other end of the application bank facility will provide internet banking and this internet banking facility give the guaranteed data sent so transaction of our internet banking is completely and correctly in between if data is loss it means transaction is fail so we when we are using this kind of the application we need a 100% reliable data transfer facility so for that we need a guaranteed data delivery services this 100% guaranteed data delivery services is called a 
reliable data transfer if in case the data will lose so in that case it cannot deliver the proper or 100% data so we can say that some of the application are consider as a loss tolerant application see in this picture the cricket match image the team country name properly displayed the score properly displayed player name and score is properly displayed but in this portion player is blur so this blur image means the data is lost in this images second example is video of this cricket match in this cricket match you cannot find the ball because the loss of the data see you cannot find the ball so it is effect of the data loss so for that kind of the application like real time media real time transmission like youtube or any streaming application it is like loss tolerant application it tolerate some loss of the data second parameter is throughput so some of the application required at least amount of the throughput so it can be effective so if i am using internet telephony or we can say that i am using skype application so in that skype i am talking with other person so if data loss during communication so it can adjust so we can say that it is bandwidth sensitive application to the specific throughput required so the this type of the application elastic application and it is used as much or as little throughput as happen to be available next parameter timing in this parameter some of the application like internet telephony or interactive games or multiplayer games required low delay so it give effective outputs suppose in case i am playing multiplayer game and delay will be high so it not effective but delay is low so it seems like real time playing a game next is security for the sending messages to the receiving side we need to encrypt all data before transmitting and that the receiving side we need to decrypt the data before delivering the data from sending and receiving side we need to decrypt the data and received it decrypted data so these are the four services parameter which will helpful to choose a protocol to develop our internet applications